Somewhere in the heart of a forest, there is a tower, made from bricks of shadows and smoke. When it was built, by whom, and how its inhabitants came to this place, are all things unknown, and in fact play little bearing into this tale. But if you should find it, you are always welcome to seek, knock, and ask. This is the tale of the Kage Tower. Living on the first floor of the tower is Mure, and as such has the twofold job of interacting the most with outsiders and guarding the front door. Being the most functional thinker of everyone in the tower, Mure has the responsibility of checking in with all its occupants and having a long to-do list of things that Murray tries to get done on a daily basis and doesn't always get done and sometimes it's quite haphazard and scatterbrained but there is definitely some kind of energy even if it's nervous energy that drives Murray to do what needs doing on the second floor, you'll usually find Devlin staring out the window into space or sleeping in bed. Other hobbies include video games, reading books, doodling, playing board games, or just anything that isn't very productive. When, whenever Mure gets burned out, exhausted, or sick, or MIA. Devine is the one who becomes in charge of the house. Miore will try to give Devine work to do to help out, but normally things aren't getting done, and it's usually not a good boat to be in. Locked up in the highest room of the tower is Toske. Miore makes sure that it's a nice padded room that Toske is in, and tries to keep it locked and secure as much as possible. The padded room is not only for safety, but also as a sound barrier. Tasuke has a habit of making really loud noises, screaming and hollering. But don't worry, Mure makes sure that there's no yellow wallpaper to be found in that room either. Tasuke can get quite violent to both herself and to the other occupants of the building especially so to the last inhabitant of this tower found at the very bottom in the basement or dungeon usually found huddled up in a corner is Visni. Visni might have been the first one here in the tower. No one really knows. Visni doesn't say very much. is usually very quiet. Though... Sometimes we'll make bumps or groaning noises or quiet movements. It scares Mure sometimes. It makes Mure think that the tower is haunted, but it's just Visni bumping around in the darkness underneath. There is one more person to mention, and that is the mysterious wanderer of the forest, Kiper. Kiper comes every day to the tower, carrying food and provisions for all who dwell there. Unfortunately, Mure is very scared of all the dangerous things that could be outside the walls. So often the door is locked and Keeper can't get in, so has to leave the basket and try again tomorrow. But sometimes Mure will have the door open and Keeper can come inside and bring peace to the Kage. Somewhere in the heart of a forest, there is a tower, made from bricks of shadows and smoke. When it was built, by whom, and how its inhabitants came to this place, are all things unknown, and in fact play little bearing into this tale. But if you should find it, you are always welcome to seek, knock, and ask. Hey there, friend. I hope this finds you well. 
Um, uh, the lighting is probably really bad today. Um, I apologize. Maybe this is better, but um, figuring out new things with not having the screen working, that's always fun. I got this new fancy um, alarm clock that changes the light to wake me up. Let's see if that's a helpful thing, but um, hopefully that helps light this up a little better so you can see it um, better. Anyway, um, this Bev was inspired um, by my own kind of struggles and stuff, obviously, that I deal with. Um, and towards the end of it too, it was inspired by one of my favorite books, Hind's Feet on High Places by Hannah Hernard. Um, and, and some other things. Uh, currently, what I'm reading, not very Lenten appropriate, I guess, but I've been trying to get through The Man in the High Castle um, for a sci-fi work club. The, the, they already finished it anyways. Um, but I'm trying to play catch up. Um, and I'm also uh, slowly going through the Psalter, the Song of Praises that Ancient Faith Radio just came out with. Um, I made this for my little sister. We were talking about Carpet Tour, where are you? But I am almost done with all 20 Kathismas and then can start over again. Um, so that's kind of been my main spiritual reading lately. I've not really been feeling like reading a lot. Anyway, so that's that's the reading update. I hope you have cool things that you're reading about. Feel free to let me know in the comments what you're reading. Um, I have a whole bunch of other stuff. Like I rebought um, Our Thoughts Determine Our Lives by Elder Thaddeus, which is downstairs, and I have a bunch of manga books from the library because that's appropriate. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, sorry this came out a bit later. There has been a lot going on. It's super busy. Anyway, I'm Anastasia, and it's been nice to see you. I hope this finds you and yours well. And there's a candle. Look, everybody likes candles. Can you? I hope you can see this all okay. Um, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye! Turn that off. And turn this off.